Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, podcast session, or uh, this discussion on regenerative uh, techniques for the knee. Um, I'm Dr. Sean Liu, and this is uh, Dr. Casey Ang. We both come from the auto sports practice, and we are both uh, sports surgeons uh, focusing on lower limb knees uh, and uh, cartilage injuries. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about restorative uh, techniques in knee surgery. So, Dr. Casey, is there anything you would like to add on? Oh, great. Thanks, Sean. Very exciting for you. Um, I think uh, we have to paint the picture first, which is basically the uh, whole concept of people getting more and more active and uh, basically engaging more in sporting activities as they get older. I like to call this term boomeritis because oh. as they start getting more active, they also start getting more injuries, yeah? So, you know, why, I, why boomeritis? Well, you know, baby boomers, um, 1948 and 1964, uh, great time in world history. Uh, this is when, uh, you know, the world evolved from World War II. As the baby boomers have sort of grown into an emerging world economy, they've become more and more affluent. Uh, they have more money, they have more time. They like to live hard, play hard. And uh, along with this, of course, come injuries, sometimes hard injuries, yeah. It's quite important that we understand the end sequelae of these injuries, uh, which is arthritis, yeah. So when you, uh, when you injure yourself, you can injure tendons, ligaments, uh, cartilage, but eventually you have a degeneration of the joint and this leads to arthritis. Now, as we all know, when you have end-stage arthritis, the treatment is quite simple. You have a joint replacement, and joint replacements are fantastic surgery. Uh, really good results. It's established for 40, 50 years already now. You know, we really like uh, doing this sort of surgery. Patients get great relief, a very high success rate. But, of course, as you know, there are complications with any sort of joint replacement surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I really like the way that you, you um, framed uh, this uh, uh, boomeritis uh, problem. And yes, I do see quite a few uh, patients in that particular group of uh, uh, age group of uh, uh, patients who are actually very, very active and still want to remain active. I think that's also part of, uh, um, uh, partly because our society is now more um, uh, open to uh, sporting uh, stuff and also uh, exercises like HIIT which were previously not uh, uh, something which is very popular. Uh, things like CrossFit uh, is uh, mm -hmm. over the last couple of years have actually uh, uh, been um, something that is very popular. Uh, so I think uh, as these people grow older, uh, what used to serve them very well as uh, a total knee replacement is not going to be able to cut it if they want to remain active, if they want to continue um, taking part in impact activities and have good, uh, very, very good range of motion of their knees. And that's why there's a bit of a focus towards preservation, towards um, repair and restoration of the, what is injured. And I think that we start off with uh, uh, trying to diagnose them early. Uh, try to, to pick up the problem so that we can actually treat them and uh, give them a longer run, a longer runway where they can use their knees. So these days, there are a lot more people taking part in um, activities like HITS, which is high intensity interval training or CrossFit. So do you know any patients uh, that uh, you are, that you have managed? Yeah, yeah, bro, me. Oh, me. wow, yeah. okay. So, yeah, you take part so, in you know, Well, well yeah. bro, you, you do know that you know I'm much older than you are, so mm -hmm. I have to like, mm -hmm. maintain, keep yeah, fit can't and all tell, that. Man. Of yeah. course, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do a little biceps pump just for the camera. Now, um, you know, I got into hits myself. I, I've always worked out in the gym and I've always played sport, but, um, you know, just recently in the last uh, two years, I've started getting into hits and it's amazing. I really, really enjoy hits, mm -hmm. you know, good cardio burn, uh, works different set of muscles. But, you know, HITS is the sort of thing where if you have a joint replacement, as we were saying just now, and, and at 56, I'm ripe for a joint replacement if I ever need one, it would really severely limit the sort of things that I can do, right? And, and sort of based on that, I think we really need to look for our patients. We need mm -hmm. to look for alternatives and we need to look for things that we can do to, um, I guess you could say, prolong, prolong the right. life of span of their joints. Yeah, we, we have to reassure the patients that joint replacements are fine, it's good surgery, but prior to that, we must give them options so that if 
they ever get to that stage, it's going to be a very, very, very long time away. That's what we want to do. Yeah. So talking about hits, I, I tried a hit session as well with my son, my teenage son, of course. And uh, after the session, my knees were aching. It were, they were aching for the last, uh, like, you know, two weeks. Uh, uh, and uh, I haven't actually recovered from it yet. Um, and I was just wondering if there's anything that can be done which is non-surgical and uh, uh, that can help me in recovering and uh, continuing this kind of uh, uh, high intensity training. Totally, totally. Well, you know, I think I think the most important thing about uh, what we need to tell patients is first and foremost, they need to rest. Mm. They need to rest. Okay, yes. They need to get it. into activity modification. They need to understand that for sport, you need to be fit to play sport. Yeah, you you don't play sport to get fit. You get fit and then you play sport. Mm. So I think uh, rest is very important. Activity modification is very important. Physiotherapy is very important. Now failing that, then we need to start getting into why they have that issue, yeah. and this would entail scans, X-rays, and uh, MRI scans, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so have you had your knee scanned? Oh, yep. Actually, I did uh, get a knee scan uh, just a couple of uh, uh, days ago, and it does show a little bit of uh, uh, age-appropriate uh, cartilage wear. Mm -hmm. uh, no big holes, but uh, certainly it's not as thick as uh, a young uh, guys. Sure. Uh, but um, it does also show that I have got some knee swelling because of the activity I have uh, participated in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm actually thinking of. Uh, so, what do you think, bro? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're a candidate for PRP? Yeah, I 